Hey YouTubers, Budzilla here. Just want to make a quick video of something I made. Um, it, just a fun little project. I did actually need it. I have one um, that blew out on me. And I guess I could have ran out and got another one. But I had all the uh, the stuff to make it. And um, and it was fun to make. So this is actually a 12 volt um, tester. A testing light. And I'll show you how it works first here. The back side has a clip on it. And then that side has the point that would you you would use for testing your circuits. And then you uh, touch it to your touch it to the 12 volt, and it completes the circuit. It's made completely out of hot glue, and I'll tell you how how it's done. So even if you don't have all the things that uh, to build it with, it won't cost you any more than three bucks. Uh, to build it. So, first of all, you have an old screwdriver. This is from the dollar store uh, that I just ground down to a super fine point. And the way you do that is put the cut the sh you know cut the handle off of the screwdriver, and then put this into a drill, and then run the end against a grinder at whatever angle you want, and it'll grind it perfectly just like that. I actually use that trick for uh, for pencils in my shop here too. Um, and then all I did is I took four blue LEDs. I used four blue LEDs because blue LEDs use about 3.2 volts each. So uh, they're going to be running not quite at full capacity with a 12 volt uh, charge. And I'm using this for my, my vehicle wiring. So so I, 12 volt is going to be going through it. Um, so they're going to be super bright but not at their limit. Uh, and then all that I did after that, so the the one end, the, the LEDs are run in series. If you don't know how to do that, look a video up. Uh, it's quite simple. You solder the negative of one LED to the positive of the other. Use four of them, and you'll be left with two legs. One will be positive, and one will be negative. And then you have them in series, so that way they each eat up 3.2 volts. Okay, uh, you solder the positive to the one end of your screwdriver. And then I also, after I soldered it, because solder doesn't really like to stick to a cheap metal. It's more it likes to stick to brass, copper, uh, you, you know, the 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 higher conductors. It likes to stick to. So I it will stick, but it doesn't stick well. So then, if you look in here, you can actually see copper. I just took some really thin copper wire. Um, where is it? Right here. I stripped it. Stripped it back. And then just wrapped it around there uh, to make sure that it it held tight. Um, and then on the back end is the black wire that goes to your lead, and that's actually just an alligator clip that's clipped to the back of the screwdriver. Um, and then I hot glued it all in. And the hot glue to get it like this again, I just chucked this up in my drill, and then I just hot glued it slowly layer by layer, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and it's going to be all lumpy and bubbly, but then I just turned it on my, um, san my, uh, my sander. Uh, you can actually see this is all the debris from it. You can only turn it about a quarter turn at a time, and then you have to dip it in water, because naturally <laughs> the friction creates heat and it melts your hot glue. So, so that's it. Hopefully uh, this helps somebody in a jam, because it only takes about 15 minutes to build. Um, and again, you have four LEDs, a, a dollar store screwdriver, two dollar store alligator clips. So I don't even, it's three bucks tops. And you have yourself a nice 12 volt tester. All right, any questions or comments? As always, guys, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Have a great day.